Hey Aquarius, let's get started on your whole story reading. I'm going to start off with an oracle card. For those of you not familiar, in the whole story reading we go through the entire deck. So get yourself comfortable. We're going to start in a minute. Um, I do have to shuffle those, but let's get the oracle card first. What does Aquarius need to know? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh. Alrighty. Okay, so the one card. At the bottom we have the tree of wishes is calling your name. An almost forgotten wish will now come true. So you may have had some plans in the past that you know you thought were long gone. No, that's not going to work out for me. Well, think again because it may just be coming up for you. Um, and it says a new strategy is required. Find the path to love and happiness. So yeah, there is a way for you to get what you wanted before, or you know, to get to where you wanted before. I don't know, you know, what this is relating to. It's going to be different for each of you because this is a general reading. But um, it is possible. If you thought it was not possible, it is. You just have to think about it a little bit more and how to execute that. All right, now let's get started. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Yeah, I see decisions being made. You know, finally um, coming to some sort of conclusion or uh, having a plan set in place. just do the clarifiers and we'll get going. And one last shuffle for Aquarius. Some of you chose to turn your back on something that um, you felt that this was the best thing, to just turn your back because something was not working out here. I feel like uh, somebody was promising you something but never, never actually panned out. Yeah, there's a sense of uh, having a lack of stability or lack of balance. Um, it's causing a lot of worry and disappointment as well here. Whoa. So what I'm seeing is that you are in a situation that has gotten uncomfortable. Um, it's gotten stressful, you know, all of that. You're dealing with all of that. However, I feel that you know, this is happening to you in order to get you to move out of out of the situation and look for other opportunities. Because I'm seeing here, there's other opportunities that are just kind of waiting for you. Hmm. Just give me a moment. Yeah, I keep seeing like this element of like just when you thought things didn't work out, something happens and it turns everything around. Let's see. Okay, so you're walking away from a situation that, look, Five of, sort, five of uh, Pentacles is um, on that line twice. Um, something that made you feel unsupported, uncared for, um, maybe you know didn't give you enough money, 
okay so you're you're walking away from that or you suffered a loss and you're walking away from it yeah you're making a decision to end something that um just did not satisfy you it was not it was not working out for you this what may have been like a new endeavor that failed okay um the high priestess and the seven of swords there were definitely uh, somebody was trying to keep something secret from you yeah this could have been um taurus virgo or a capricorn trying to keep something secret from you or something hidden hmm For some of you, there was somebody in your life, again, could have been an earth sign, specifically Taurus I'm getting here, but there was somebody in your life who um, you thought had more than they actually ended up having. So somebody may have been leading you on into thinking that they had money or they were uh, a lot more stable than, than they actually are. So this is somebody who goes around, you know, faking things. Yeah, see, somebody was offering you stability, something long-term when they really had no no way to to follow through on that it was all lies lies about the future yeah yeah look king of swords in reverse somebody was lying and it's caused a lot of um it caused a lot of drama in a situation okay we have the two of pentacles and the lovers oh. there's definitely arguments here I feel like this is an up and down. So so there have been argument or you know there has been discord and then it, it gets better, somebody apologizes and then it goes back to square one. Yeah, okay, so this is like a never ending cycle of let's try again, let's try again, let's try again, but nothing ever really changes. second So I'm seeing here a situation of having to let go of, um, could be a person that you had a lot of love for. There's a lot of consideration being taken into, you know, what to do next. What to, what, what are we gonna do in the future? There's a lot of thinking about this, but thinking in a, in a, in a in like a, a sad way you know like um like having to do that having to think about next steps in the future because um you're aware now that there is a situation here that you know is not is not what somebody uh, painted it out to be There's a lot to, to have to like decipher though. I don't know, it's like there's a, a confusing situation here that you're trying to figure out, you're giving it time or you have given somebody time to, to show you what they're really about. But I keep seeing conflict. I keep seeing, <clears throat> I keep seeing conflict and um, other people. So there, this is multiple people. I don't feel like this is one person. So this could be like your family um you know people that you work with friends whoever this is in your life there's a lot of confusion around this situation because i do feel like somebody does that on purpose they create illusions but there's someone here who's cutting through all that all that all the, all the lies getting to the truth um and we do have the king and the queen of swords here together one is in the upright, one, one is in the reverse. So I do feel like there is a couple here who may be affected by um, possibly gossip. 
that someone is spreading about you. Yeah, there's sadness because, you know, you thought that there's somebody in your life who you thought you could trust. You thought that, you you know, you guys were close, could even just be a friend. Um, but they ended up like you found out that this person was being fake and they were actually talking shit about you behind your back. I feel like you're realizing you need to let go of this no matter what feelings you have for these people or this person. Some of you are in a relationship where there was cheating, okay? We have the High Priestess, the Seven of Swords, so secrets, lies, deceit, the Two of Pentacles with the lovers. Somebody could have been uh, juggling two people. Um, but if that's the case, whatever the case is, um, I just feel that, you know, you, you have already... or. This may not have happened for some of you. This could be in the future. But you're coming to the realization that you need to let this go. Um, I, I feel like, you know, there's a sense like I, oh, I put so much time into it I, uh, or I invested so much money into such and such. But, you know, the truth is that it's, it's, not, it's not living up to its expectation, whatever this is. It's actually just keeping you stuck. But it, you're very strained by like what other people are saying. I feel like for some of you, you need to heal because you used to be a person who was very, very much, um, you know, confident in yourself and uh, looked up to, and somehow that confidence has dwindled. So I feel like there is a need for you to take some time to, to you know, get to know yourself again, uh, reconnect with yourself, and uh, you know, know that you are, you are worthy. Um, but yeah, there's definitely something here that's ending. You're setting yourself free. You could be setting yourself free from this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that is not making you happy. Could be a Capricorn specifically, but anyway, any sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or any sign. Some of you could have been stuck in like a very oppressive contract of some sort where um, you know, if you did sign some sort of contract, like there was something like um that was meant to deceive like within the contract so if you if those of you who are getting ready to sign any kind of legal paperwork any kind of um um agreement you know to to accept a job anything like that any kind of uh legalities you really have to take the time to read through read through the lines read the fine print um, even if you need to, you know, get some counsel, a lawyer to look over paperwork, definitely do so because I'm seeing here that there's things that are, somebody is trying to deceive you. They're hoping that you don't see whatever this is and there could be a potential for a uh, financial loss. Let me clarify. Oh, I did clarify. What am I talking about? Yeah. Okay, let's see what let's see what else we have. Cap oh, what am I saying? I just did Capricorn. This is for Aquarius. I hope I wasn't saying Capricorn this whole time. Aquarius, Sun Moon Arising. What else do I have for Aquarius? If this is resonating so far, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you guys are interested in a private reading, you can email me at eyesofthestarstarot at gmail.com. Uh, all price information is in the description box below if you want to take a look at it. Okay. Oh, look at this. Okay, so you are almost at the end of a situation that um, you've got grown tired of. I think that you have been very patient with this situation, but you feel like it's time to move on. It's, it's really time to close this out. It's been a long journey. Oh, for some of you, this, is, uh, this could be a marriage. This could be a family situation that's falling apart, but I am seeing here kind of divorce for some of you.
some of you it's not divorce it's just like separation so somebody may be traveling and this is putting a, a real uh, strain on a relationship I'm sorry hold on one second Sorry about that. Alrighty. Okay, so this could be you like standing up for yourself. Um, I kind of feel like somebody wanted to have you under their control and you're you're standing up for yourself and saying, no, I'm I'm an independent person. All right, let me see. Okay, so um, somebody hasn't taken action yet because they're still, uh, you know, it's like there needs to be a plan, a plan of action. What is this, nine of wands? Yeah, a plan of action. So you're almost at the end of this, though. Like you're almost at a, the end of a cycle but you're, you're planning like your new beginning already. Let's see. Yeah, whatever is ending, you were, it, it just was not satisfying to you. Um, I feel like, you know, the, the new beginning or, or you may just impulsively one day decide uh, F this. <laughs> um, and some of you might just like move um, out of nowhere or, or just pick up and, and go on a trip somewhere. This could just be travel, like unexpected travel. And it's more so to get yourself away from a stressful situation. Like maybe you just need time for yourself to, to think. Yeah, I feel like you need time to just slow down. Think about your actions, like plan out your actions. Look, some of you are actually moving. Ten of Pentacles clarified, clarified by the Six of um, Swords. Look, the end of a of a family situation, and it's it's out of nowhere. It could have been because of someone's foolishness, like they thought they could get away with anything and everything. Mm, yeah, somebody was taking risks, very impulsive risks, without thinking it through, and I, I feel like. Shit did not work out. Right? See, someone was making promises to you that left you very underwhelmed. You kept on waiting, you know, watching and waiting for this person to take action, to do something, to follow through, and nothing, nothing. It was like a false emperor, a false divine masculine. Um, just somebody who is just not dependable. The emperor in reverse is not dependable. And so you're choosing to walk away from this situation. Um, I feel like someone wants you to, to not walk away from them. I feel like this emperor, whoever this is, could be an Aries, but not necessarily. They're fighting you on this. Um, for some of you, I'm getting here, uh, if you're leaving a relationship, the other part, like when you tell the other person, you know what, I've given this enough time, I'm, I'm just done, I'm going to go, I'm going to, you know, I, I need to exit this situation. I feel like this person is going to be accusing you of, of cheating or vice versa, you know, however, however that resonates, but yeah. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's like investigating 
or spying to see if there's anybody else involved. So this could be you spying on someone or this could be you that is leaving, turning your back and the other person is now spying on you because they think that something has to be going on here, you know? I feel like there's been betrayal and there's there's a lot of hurt and resentment that you just can't get over. I'm hearing like um maintain my dignity or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, like you're trying to hold on to your dignity because you feel like if you let this go, then that's it. This person is just going to completely um, step all over you. Like, just use you as a doormat. You really tried very hard to make this work, to, to find, find peace and balance here, but the more you observe the situation, I, I, some of you could be spying on someone like you you suspect that something is off or they suspect this of you and definitely there's like surveillance happening yeah yeah somebody's watching a sneaky person this could be you mm. so someone feels tied down either by responsibilities or um, wanting to uh, stay, you know, in in um, in a certain type of like lifestyle that maybe they can't do on their own. Okay, I see. Hold on. Mm. Okay, so someone was involved in a relationship where um, they weren't there really for the love or for the connection, but it was more so for the convenience, um, the money, and this was all like while they were trying to come up with this plan. Now, this could very well be you because, you know, that first, that card that we got was a new strategy is required. So it may be that you you were involved in a situation that you you thought was like all good, kosher, whatever. Um, and then you started to see things and you started to have these suspicions and look further into things. And the more you look into something, the more you just sit still, be quiet and observe, I feel like you're not gonna like what you're seeing. Um, and so I'm seeing here somebody planning because in the future, like you, you don't wanna be caught with, um, like in a bad uh, financial position or it's like you want to make sure that you're going to be taken care of before you make all of these moves so this is almost like um you know like a secret <laughs> a secret mission or something like that and and it's definitely you who is doing this because we have this seven of okay but it, it is the reason you're doing this is because of something that that you have um uncovered and it very well could be betrayal. So I think that you realize the more you stay in this situation, you may be, okay, some of you are, okay, some of you know that your partner is cheating and you're acting like everything is okay while you gather up evidence, while you put money away, while you get yourself straight, and then you're making some kind of move here. But not before you're, you're good and ready to do it. Oh mm, my goodness, okay. Someone may have been feeling stuck in, in a commitment, um, but like I said, it was convenient, so they just stayed where they were, but were acting um, out of character when out of the house, you know? So acting as if they were single and not committed when in reality they were.
Could be a Cancer involved here or Scorpio. Whatever it is, the truth is coming out. Um, I do feel like someone's going to try to reconcile. This is somebody um, that you you have a uh, or you had a really close relationship with. There was love here. There still is actually. There still is. It's just that you may not be compatible or because of the betrayal, you know, you just can't go on because there are secrets here that are being exposed. But the love still remains, you know, it, it, for some of you, you could have children with this person. And so you know that even though the relationship between the two of you did not work out, there's a lot of resentment um, that's being held on to. But although the relationship did not work out, you know that you're always going to be, um, or this person is always going to be in your life because you may be co-parenting. Um, yeah, let's see. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're cutting out a, a family situation. This could be like a separation of a family. We have the Two of Cups in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles. This may have been a situation that you gave somebody like a second chance. This may be their second, their third, their fourth chance. And they continue to do the same things over and over again. Cancer, strong cancer. Yeah, look, this truth is coming out. Whatever is hidden, it is coming out. It may have to do with the cancer or, the, you know, it's happening now in cancer season. I feel like it's having to do with other people, another person. When this all comes out, when this all comes out, this was very like, wow. It was unexpected. It was um, not what someone deserved. It's like somebody really went above and beyond to do the best that they could in a situation. And then they did not get repaid, you know, in that same uh, manner. So basically there was a, a betrayal here, but I feel like someone is asking for another opportunity. I'm seeing somebody saying, you know, I'm sorry. Um, really, I, I feel like they're only sorry that they get caught. And, and I think you know this because I, I'm feeling for a lot of you, this has happened before. For those of you where it's, it hasn't happened before, um, th there still is somebody here asking for another opportunity and I see you turning them down. Yeah, I feel like, you know, it, it's not going to end well, like you're not ending on good terms. That may change in the future. You know, you may with time be able to forgive and forget, not necessarily get back with this person, but you may be able to have like a cordial relationship with them in the future. But I think that's going to take some time, you know, for them to build back up to that. And you have uh, some some respect for them again, because I just see a lot of anger here in your part. Um, because you feel like they've wasted your time. There was a lot of time and energy and effort that you put into this and you just feel completely disappointed, betrayed, saddened. Um, but I think you're over that or you get over that pretty quickly, like that phase of feeling that way. I think you just uh, are more of a person who looks toward the future in a more optimistic manner, or at least that's what I'm seeing here happening. I feel like you just want to know the truth, you know, so that you can move on with your life and um, search for your happiness because it's it's not here. So yeah, uh, I'm getting here, you know, your happiness is out there. It is out there. It's just that there may have been things like patterns that you needed to break. Um, and this person, you know, with that Six of Cups there, you could have been soulmates. And so maybe that was part of the lesson is um, breaking some patterns in, in, in you, you know, allowing people to do certain things to you or to treat you in a certain way. So you see how she's looking down. She looks kind of sad and disappointed. I, I'm getting that's how you feel, but that does not mean... 
that this is always going to be the case. Like you are going to find your happiness. I think this helps to put you on that path because before there was a, this repetitive pattern of um, behaviors that was not, it wasn't opening you up to the best relationship or the best situations because there were lack of boundaries. There was a lack of uh, self-worth in some cases here. And so that's what this situation is addressing. So just know that it's not, it's not a punishment. It's not being done to you. There's reasons for this. And this, this ending is only bringing you closer to your true, true happiness. So there is good news ahead. It's just, you got to get through this tough moment. All right, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Bye.